Hello and welcome friends. This is going to be my first attempt at the Soul Level 1 playthrough of Dark Souls. I actually got a nice little balance thingy for my camera now. I have no idea how to translate that from Dutch to English. I'm just going to show you my stats that I really am level 1 because I didn't show character creation because, well, I didn't really care for it. So it's, it's probably going to be a, sort of a community effort this. Like, I did some research beforehand about which weapon I'm uh, going to use. Because, as you can see, I only start with 9 dexterity, which isn't a lot, which pretty much means I'm restricted to using just the, I think, hand axe, battle axe, uh, yeah, there's a couple of other weapons, but to be really honest, they are terrible. And I probably don't have enough strength to use them as well, because I only have 12 strength, which means divided by half, plus that is 6, means I get two hand and 18 strength weapon, which isn't a lot. I just want to see how much slots I got. Alright, start with two slots, that's nice. Combine that with two rings means four slots. Yeah, I've also been planning my route a bit. Just to see what what pattern I'm gonna play this out. See, do I have a normal roll? Yes. Let's skip this bastard. Ah! I'm not gonna even show the boss meter. Now, we're gonna kill him the different way. I'm not sure if people actually know about this, but. Oh god, this is my starter shield. What's the stance on this baby? Oh my god. That's laughably bad. I'm gonna backstab your ass, I think. Aw. Alright, now I'm just gonna die right here. Why? Kill me! Alright, that's gonna take a long time. Yeah, I'm gonna just take this time and let him kill me. It's a little trick. Ooh, look, arrow. So yeah, I'm gonna be posting this on lots of forums and stuff. Because I'm gonna need advice and tips and tricks on how to do this. Alright, this is taking me way too long. Oh nice, I got a dual swing with this weapon. Where you drop? Okay, that's gonna save me some time and money. I don't think I can really use it. Hit me. Good. And now you. Hit me. Alright, one more hit. Come on. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now this is a little trick. Because if I die because I died now, I respawn the last bonfire. And I can just fight the boss. And get still get the insanely large hammer which I will never use but I always wanted to show this on camera so horror? Oh huh. they actually fixed it. That's kind of surprising. Honestly. Okay well okay did not expect that. What I really don't like about the game by the way at the outset from the character design is I wanted to make like this evil looking witch for this character which I probably did but that's human form and I'll just show you I look like a fucking smurf like I look like someone ripped out of Avatar which is kind of stupid because she when she's in human form she's probably like deadly pale because I wanted to make like a Grim Reaper-esque character. Alright, here comes the ball. Or not. No, I don't want to use the shield. Come on. Oh, you can't parry that. Come on. Alright, one more try. Alright, yeah. Ugh. I always do my parries with offhand for some reason. Like... Not with a shield. 
it's just preference, I guess. Am I gonna kill you? Nah, I'm just gonna listen to you. La 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 la. Yes. La 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 la. Bells of Awakening, as this flask and the key. Bid you farewell. Thank you, Master. Ah, oh, he's dead. Alright, enough fooling around. Wait a minute. Where's my catalyst? What was I around here? I don't really remember. Probably. Oh, thank God. I don't want to miss that because I might as well restart the game. Alright, bring it. Come on. Oh! backstab you. Yeah, like I've been practicing a bit with um, ninja build, where I'm only allowed to use two-handed weapons or one-handed, but no shield at least. Oh, that was a lot of damage. And I learned that not locking on is probably the best thing you can do. I'm not gonna die against you, am I? Oh, thank God. Duff. Ah, oh, okay. I'm just gonna pretend that never happened. Let's drink up. I know you're angry at me, but at least wait until I'm here, you filthy son of a down there? Yeah. Oh, in the face. Aw. Yeah, this is... No. Maybe we should play serious. Yeah, that would be a nice idea. Eat. Oh, that's a lot of damage. As you might have known, I've never played a Pyromancer. Eat Fireball! Yeah, I'm just toying around a bit right now, but... Because, well, honestly, this is just regular. Oh, wrong side. I think the, I think the difficulty is going to go up a bit when I reach the... Quaylug or the Depths. Because normally I'd skip the Depths in White Town, but... Starting off oh, in God with Masky. Uh, what else stuff do I have? I want to check something. Is there anything I can? No, I can't drop anything for Snuggly. Oh, wait, item. Is it back here? Or? There is an item here. I'm sure of it. Don't die. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna be needing all these souls, because I'm... The, the basic plan, as of yet, is to save up all my uh, flexible souls. And try to hop it as quickly as I can to Vamus. And upgrade my battle axe to flame. Fire battle axe. And have another battle axe at just plus five. Which I'll have to use against Quaaluk. And then... Shut up. It is stated. I cannot skip this for some reason. Blah de blah. You nice, sadly. Yeah, uh, what was I saying again? That I'm gonna... Um... Oh yeah. I'm gonna use a plus five battle axe against Squillig. And then upgrade it to a lightning axe. Let's see. Yeah. I'm pretty bummed out. I think, yeah, I only got 8 faith, which means no miracles at all. And I'm a huge miracle fan. But it will be nice variety compared to, um, compared to my main character, who was a 50 faith build. Got those items out of the way. I'm just gonna go item hunting for a few minutes and then 
because every saw is pretty much handy later on. Aww. See, I was wondering what was. Ah, there's nothing up there. La, 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 la. Give me a gold coin, a copper coin. I, I really like that. He's like, I thought we agreed to keep each other's distance. All right, here's a copper coin. Now get the fuck out of my sight. Yes, I would like. That is it. Oh wait. No, I want to join your covenant. Bring it. Nope. Ah. Join covenant. Yes. I pray before you, little man. No. Blah blah blah. No no no. Yeah, that's what we want. Come again. Um I'm gonna be putting you here and removing the shield. Cause I'm honest that shield's other crap. I'm better off just dying, I get my thing. Time to go down there and grab some items. Ah. So yeah, th those are my two weapons and like, I think it's going to be pretty easy up until the Belfries. And they might pose a problem, but that's why I'm gonna try and get my flame um, battle axe before that. Because I pretty much have no good shield or stamina or health. My first objective, without a doubt, is to free Lotrek and get his ring. Alright, let's see here. Get that item. I must admit that the getting hit sound is a nice variation upon the oh, of a man. Which got really bored, well not boring, but more annoying. Is where I drop down there? I'm not really sure. Oh, I'm so dead. Or not. Huh. That's kind of a surprise. Alright. Now, I never prepared for this, but I think I'm going to try it. Because one of my biggest goals right now is also to, to upgrade my Essence Mask to, well, as high as possible. Because at plus 7 it heals, I think it was 800 HP, and I have 500, so I want it to be at least at plus 3 or 4. And there's a Firekeeper Soul here, but it's pretty easy to get to. There's also a couple of souls here, which I'm gonna need because I'm not gonna be like using the souls that are on my person most of the time because I'm gonna be dying a lot, so I can't rely on that. So I need a lot of. Good God, you've got a lot of HP. Shut up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rely a lot on the. Uh, souls I have, like, in my bag, like demon souls and stuff like that. Something here, oh, something around this corner. Hmm, I probably can't use you. Disaster disasters are gone after the defeat of the Grave Lord server. Oh, oh, you have got to... <laughs> my world got cursed. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, th that's just wonderful. That's th that's wonderful. That's all I have to say about that. Seriously. Can I still roll normally? Yeah. Seriously. That's not a good sign. I mean, I'm level one and always I'm going. Oh shit! Oh no! A 
basically what this means... Oh, I'm actually thinking about restarting my game, but... Oh no... Uh, basically what this means is that if I die, I lose half of all my souls, like permanently. Uh, that's the only one we want to get right there. I lose them permanently, like forever. And if I and enemies are like twice as strong, which is never a good thing. Oh yeah, I'm I'm dead. I'm just gonna die here. <sighs> enemies are twice as strong, deal twice as much damage. And the only way to get rid of it is to find the token of the Grave Lord. And it could be anywhere. And I mean anywhere. Which is bad. Really, really bad. At least for me. No response. So I this flask. Alright, thanks. So what kind of moveset do you have? I hate your moveset. If you do... Three more damage, yeah, screw that. This one has a continuous attack. Uh, Ring of Sacrifice, which I will be needing. Uh, come on. Hit me! Yeah. Aww. playing at my best, which I should, come on, this piece of shit, Bakram is dead, now I'm praying that it was just a fluke and that it's going to go away by itself, but I really doubt it. Oh, not good. I'm, I'm so, I'm freaking scared out of my guts right now. This is scary. Alright, you're easy. He's probably going to go ahead and kill himself for me. Very kind of him. Uh, going to have to deal with him someday. Plus I'm hoping one of them drops an armor. Oh no humanity. Lo, 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 lo. And it's just a habit of mine. I want to kill everything in sight. I'm to bring it. Probably gonna do that dash attack of yours. Alright, bring it. You're so easy, game. I'm gonna. Alright, that's gonna save me a lot of souls. your moveset it is. I'm gonna need two of you. Can I roll normally? Hell yeah. I'm gonna need two of these and upgrade them both to plus five I think. It's required for lightning and fire. I'm actually not really sure. I should check that. Oh no, it's a dragon. One. Oh, I might as well use my fireball for once. Oh no, I have to use them against those uh, guys over there. Mm 
Oh, get buried, son. In the face. These guys are dropping a lot of items. Maybe the Great Wall boosts that? No idea. Alright. Ah, that was way too early. Alright. Time to kill him. Enough with the drops already. What's my... Ah, it's still 10, 100. Huh. Go figure. Block this. Cock sucker. Ah. Suck it. Attacking. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's buying one of these. I'm not really interested in that. Forty will do. Uh, these arrows are for the bed of chaos. Like, if I ever get that far. Arr. These things are only 50? Well, that's interesting. I'm gonna need... Thank you, Khan. I'm thinking, am I gonna spend a thousand souls to keep this guy alive? Probably. Eight hundred. And there's probably two hundred. Because if you kill him, you get the key as well, and it Uchi Katana, which I cannot use, but I'm probably going to be needing his fire bombs and repair kit, which are hella expensive. Let me think of it. Alright, let's do some more exploring. Guys are insultingly easy. Go ahead, fill this piece of shit. Attack me. That was a jump attack. Oh, yeah. The second I say they're easy, I'm dead. Come on. I think I may have to cut off the video a bit because I doubt you guys want to watch like an hour long footage. So that was part one.